Hi guys, how is everyone doing today? So today I have come to you with a exciting video. Um, I think it's exciting. I hope you like it. Um, so basically, we went to Harvey Nichols today and I went to pick up some Fenty Beauty, obviously. First of all, I didn't really want to buy anything from the line, but the like the amount of videos and reviews and first impressions of Fenty Beauty and how this is amazing and that is amazing, especially the Killer Watt um, highlighter in um, Trophy Wife. I was just like, okay, you know what, I'm going to get it. Like, I just have to try it. So basically, this video is going to be about me doing like an everyday look with with the um, Fenty Beauty. If you're interested in seeing how I create my everyday look then keep on watching first of all i have obviously done my eyebrows just to get that out of the way i'm just going to go in with the um fenty i'm going to go in with the fenty primer which is like this i'm not going to bore you with packaging and all of that because obviously there's loads of videos out there but i like the way the um packaging looks um i took it obviously out of the box and yeah so let's get right into it so I'm just gonna take one pump out of that um, I don't really have a primer like every time I don't know if you know you guys notice but I don't really have a primer for my face so when I'm doing my makeup sometimes I use the um, what do you call it gosh I'm bad with pronouncing products and stuff but sometimes I use the um, a primer for my nose area because I feel like the pores there are quite big I'm gonna go in with another pump so I'm hoping that this will work for me in the long run um can I just tell you guys that when we went to well when I went to Harvey Nichols to get the Rihanna product the line like no one is talking about the line that you need to join outside Harvey Nichols is like literally you had a line right next to the entrance and then you had another line on the other side which is like another entrance of Harvey Nichols and we literally stood out there <clears throat> For give or take an hour and 10 minutes before we even went into the shop to get our products <coughs> and because I went on a Sunday um, Harvey Nichols supposedly closes at 6 and um, I went on a Sunday so it closes at 6 on Sundays and I'm just shaking the foundation so basically I got the foundation it looks like this and my color is in 380 when the girl um, did my color check she said 340 but when I went on the counter and sat down the 340 was a bit too cool and I like the warm kind of feel for my foundation so I went for the next shade which is 380 and I will advise people to go in and look for your shade you can't really gauge the shade that you are online so I'm 380 and if you guys want to um, gauge what shade I am when I use my L'Oreal true match I'm in the color um, cappuccino which is 8n and that's I feel it's a perfect perfect match for me so yeah so 380 is my shade and I got the foundation brush as well which looks like this I like the shade of it and everything it feels quite smooth it just says foundation brush and it says 110 so that's what I'm going to be using and the lady used one pump on me but I feel like I would use two pumps so that's what I'm going to be using and that's probably what I would use on a I don't want to spoil the brush <laughs> so that is two pumps and I heard that it dries quite quickly so I'm just gonna work my way in really quickly I haven't color corrected or anything so and basically obviously I have a brush that I use for my foundation but apparently the foundation brush is really really good so I wanted to try it out
and when I went to get my color corrected and everything I intentionally went without wearing any makeup or whatsoever so that they can get the perfect perfect match for me because I did not want to make that journey back and plus it's a lot of money so I don't know if it's focusing properly but I feel like it looks quite pinkish on me I'm going with two more pumps because I want I feel like I'd like more coverage so I feel like it's a bit pinkish on me but I feel like maybe that's my undertone I thought my undertone was a bit yellow it's definitely yellow on me and I feel like if you want this kind of foundation you need not flawless skin but you kind of need that you kind of need that to pull off this kind of foundation because it's so watery and like it soaks into the skin I feel I don't know if I like the foundation as much as I like my um, L'Oreal True Match definitely like a medium to full you can build it up but this is like an everyday makeup so you can't even tell that I have makeup on I like this I like it but I don't like it I don't know what's Rhoda make up your mind so basically the next thing I got was the um, I got the sticks and um, this is um, the contour sticks set and I got this in tan 300 and I felt like it was a good shade for me but let's tell because everything I'm using right now I'm not sure so basically it comes with caramel trifle and rum and this is how they all look together so let's try that and see obviously you get a whole oh wow oh wow this is all the way to the top on camera it looks small but it's deceiving I feel like you get a lot of product for your money so I'm just going to contour so that's the color trifle, well caramel, sorry, on me. I did not get the beauty, the beauty blender, like the Fenty one, because I have a beauty blender and I prefer this one anyway, so I didn't see the point buying one. So my beauty blender is dump. I like to use it dump, so I'm doing what I would usually do with my everyday makeup. So let's go in. This is it blended out. It blends out nicely, that's for sure. I'm not getting any patchiness but I want to go over it for some reason I feel like underneath my eye needs more and I'm just gonna leave that to set before I do anything so I'm just gonna go on my chin your girl is putting a bit putting on a bit of weight so and over here down the bridge of my nose my flat nose and I'm just gonna blend all of that out actually let me use the brush on top here and see how that works and for the bridge of my nose I'm just gonna use my hand wow I like the way the bridge of my nose is more prominent that it, than it would with my um, usual and it looks more natural I like that I like that I actually like it but I feel like my face is still a bit too cool I'd like it warmer I don't know I'd like my because I like my face quite warm I know I'm kind of light skinned but I use foundation to manipulate what I want on my face so so that is the contour uh, sorry the highlight done now with the contour I'm going to use the trifle dark shade that is trifle and that's like three swashes so obviously back and forth one two three that's three swashes so on the top of my head down that jawline now blend <laughs> I like it it's not bad I like the color the color payoff I really like the color because I've been trying to find like the perfect color to do my contour 
but I really haven't found any that's why I was using the um, the uh, true color match in the darker shade but I think this is gonna stay in, as a staple in my makeup collection but I will say this makeup it's like I don't know it's, it gives you like a flawless skin kind of vibe going on like flawless skin that yeah it gives you like that kind of yeah that's what I would say so that's my contour done and for the purpose of this video usually I use my Laura Mercier in deep dark but I just saw the Ben Eye and I'm just gonna use the Ben Eye powder for this because I'm literally not going anywhere so that is my highlighted set and I am going to go with the um I'm gonna go in this palette here my handy dandy pro artist palette in the color bronzer well it's a bronzer palette so as you can see I have hit pan with that I hope TK Maxx has another one because your girl depends on this girl <laughs> your girl depends on this girl to get her you know snatched so I'm just going to contour I don't even know if I even need powder to set it but as Selena they said I should use powder to set my cream makeup. Swear to God, yeah. One thing I must give for Rihanna, she has made this makeup and the product like effortless to blend. Like it's just effortless. I've got to make myself look like I got bridge because your girl ain't got no bridge. I got a button nose. Why is it that we always want something we don't have? Hmm? Someone wants my button nose. This nose, they want it, but they can't get it. And I want a nose with a bigger bridge or a taller bridge. He bigger bridge, taller bridge. So what next? What next? What next? We're going to go into the stick highlighter in rum, and I'm going to no. Actually, when you watch YouTube videos, they tell you like I was watching. Um, oh, what's her name? You know one of those twins, like those twins on YouTube and they're very big and they're light skin. I think they're mixed race. I don't know the name. But um, I was watching one of them, their video, and she said that it's better to use a brush. To, to use a brush to apply the um, stick instead of just using it on your face like that. So I'm just going to use the same foundation brush because that's the closest thing next to me and I don't think I'll need it anymore. I'm just going to use that on the stick match like that and then put that on my face like so. I don't see any difference though. Hey, let me just... Aha! Now we're seeing what is going on. Ooh. Oh, I like the way it looks there. Does it look like that on this side? Mmm. I'm a fan. And the thing is, I like the way the contour doesn't look dirty. Like, it's not too brown and looking like dirty. Like, as if you just slapped mud in your face. I like that. Everything is just like... But, and the thing as well, obviously, the way you put on your makeup, the way you apply it, the way you blend it all helps as well. But I... I like this. I know you can take it. I don't know, no, 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 shake it, shake it, shake it. You know, all I know is wah, wah, wah. I've just realized, I don't know if you guys can see it, but you know how people are saying like, oh, the foundation, it doesn't really set in my lines and everything. Look, it has set in my it has set, I don't know obviously because it's a cream whatever but it has actually set in the lines of my eye I don't know if you guys can tell I didn't tell you guys I got the blotting um, the invisible blotting powder and I think I'm going to love 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 this product only because I'm not the type to carry powder around because I feel like the more you put powder on your makeup to set it and to get the oiliness out during the day, I feel like your makeup builds up. 
So apparently this is supposed to be a blotting powder. It looks like this. It looks like that and when you open it, oh, excuse my. When you open it, it's got the product in there. And obviously you have the Fenty mirror and it comes with like a pad thingy. So I'm really happy that I got this because this would be good in Ghana. You know when you got your makeup on and your pimp 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 and you step out and the heat hit you. Hey, like where are you going? Uh, like that happened to me. So I was like I definitely have to get this. So I've got this. I'm just going to use that on my eye. Why do people lie? Eh? Why do people like to lie on YouTube? It's invisible but you can see that you've applied products on there but it's not so like white cast on you like but you can see that there's product on there like I don't know if you guys can tell with the camera but I can tell that there's product on there I mean I can try and blend it but when you blend it okay when you blend it it's fine when you blend it it's fine but you can see that this product on there. Why do people like to lie on YouTube like that? You don't have to lie. Just be honest. We're still going to buy the thing if we want it. That's how it goes. So that is the uh, blotting powder. I'm still happy that I got this though. Like, so the next thing that I got is the one lip product that she has, which is the um, lip gloss. And obviously apparently you can use the um, stick match highlighters on your lip and on your eye and obviously on your cheek but she only has this so I hope she brings out more colors so when you take it this is how it looks like this is the applicator bro hey, sometimes when I'm videoing you I feel like I can't speak but this is the applicator it smells like wait it smells like richness. I don't know. I just feel like it smells like you're rich. It smells like watermelon. That's what it smells like. I feel like it smells like watermelon. I haven't put anything on the bottom lip. Ah, Rhoda. I haven't put anything on the top lip apart from my Vaseline. But this is the lip gloss on my bottom lip. And now that everything is in place, I feel like the foundation, yes, is my perfect, perfect match. I'm looking in my face, yeah, I'm like, I really like her contour stick. If you don't get the foundation, the primer, anything, I think when once you get your perfect match for your, like, contour sticks, I feel like it's really... I just that's the product that I like I like the contour sticks that's everything that I've got for myself from Fenty this is the final look it looks flawless I'm not gonna lie it actually looks flawless um the thing that I think I would not necessarily buy and that's me being really honest is the foundation don't kill me don't kill me don't kill me don't kill me understand the hype yeah it looks like skin yeah if you want to like you know if you want something that is matte if you're someone that's got really oily skin you want something that is matte and all the things that it says and you want this foundation go ahead spend your coin and buy the, the foundation but someone like me who don't already wear like full force makeup on unless I'm going to an event I think I could have stuck with my I could have stuck with L'Oreal <laughs> and the price is like I could have saved like I think over 12 pounds but yeah the foundation is not necessary unless you want what it does that's what I think with the foundation um, but everything else I feel like if you're new to cream contouring I think the matchsticks I don't regret buying the matte sticks. I think they're a good buy. The lip gloss is a good buy. I have a lot of matte lipsticks. So the lip gloss is very, is good. I don't, it feels light. It doesn't feel sticky or anything. 
it smells amazing but the other thing that I actually got from Fenty is the holy grill trophy wife literally the trophy wife highlighter that everyone is going on and on and on about and when I went I was like no I don't want to buy trophy wife like why is everyone hyping about trophy wife but when I tried it when I tried it though it was a different situation I had to reevaluate my money and think is it really worth it and i was like yes it is worth it and i went to spend that coin i think you phantom my understanding i don't think you phantom this highlighter you need to swash it you need to really swash it to understand it so try on trophy wife just for the sake of it so i'm going to dab very sensibly because people are not doing this sensibly you have to do it sensibly eh gee you have to do it sensibly and then i'm going to attack bro bro Nah, you need to be sensible with this. So, like again, this is rum. And this is trophy wife. I feel like you can actually wear this on an everyday basis. All those people are like, oh, I'm so scared. I don't know if it's too bright for me or too dang, dang, dang. No, you can actually wear it on an everyday basis. You just need to be sensible about the way you apply it and the amount of product you actually put on your face. But... If anything, I feel like you could actually get away with it. Unlike people that just go, huh, I'm not going to do that because this was expensive. But other people are like, huh, and nah, that's a bit, you look like a clown. Like, I'm just trying to be truthful here because I use my hard earned money to buy this product and I need to be truthful for the people that are wanting to buy Fenty Beauty. So, that is it so that is Fenty that's the whole look that's my everyday look using Fenty products only the only ones that Fenty doesn't have is a setting powder and they clearly say that you can't use the blotting powder for a setting powder but some people are still using the blotting powder for the setting powder and I do not understand it and that's my honest like that's my opinion don't shoot me so I use my Ben I but I used the blotting powder for my eyes because I didn't want any product showing on there. Um, I obviously used my normal powder contour to set the cream contour. And everything else is... And obviously the eyebrow, I did not use Fenty because she doesn't have any eyebrow products. But apart from that, everything else is looking flingalicious. Like I could actually walk out like this and be like, Babe, I'm ready, babe. Let's go out. Like... I actually like this contour. Anyway, time is going. I feel like this video is going to be like so long to edit. But that is my honest, honest, honest review on the Fenty product. If you want to buy it, I mean, go buy it. Like, this, the stick is amazing. The lip gloss, you could do without it. But if you want it, you buy it. Um, the only thing that I'll say that we girls, we girls should really, really want to get is a blotting powder because there's no blotting powders out there so and she's the first one to bring a universal blotting powder so this girl literally looked at the market and saw what is there what is not there let me just you know and that's exactly what she's did and but can I just say I actually waited outside that Harvey Nichols for an hour and 10 minutes and when you get in there they say that the um, beauty assistants yeah that's what I'm gonna call them the beauty assistants have 15 minutes to spend with you to obviously get your shade color your whatever that you need they spend 15 minutes with you and then after that 15 minutes you can still um, stay around the station and get whatever else you fancy so I think that was nice but waiting outside for an hour and give or take 20 minutes that was a bit much I went by myself I was about to feel lonely and I met this four really really nice girls um 
I hope they're watching this. It was nice to meet you. You actually, you guys actually made me waiting for Fenty Beauty interesting and I did not even feel the, the minutes go. If you guys weren't there, I feel like I would have left, but. <laughs> oh, guys, like I told you from my last video, I did say that I wanted to do a giveaway for my next video. So my giveaway is, if ah, I nearly broke it my giveaway that I'm going to do I'm going to do two spots for giveaways you have to like this video comment share and I will check every single one like video comment share and subscribe and I am giving away the Fenty um, kilowatt highlighter and I'm going to be giving out the one in trophy wife so that's what I'm going to be giving out and that's that will be for the person that comes in first place someone that comes in second place I am going to um, buy you crochet so whatever type of crochet maybe box braid crochet or the twist type crochet I will be giving that away and I'll be giving five packs of um, crochet uh, hair away so make sure you comment below make sure you share make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video and i will leave this video i will leave this um giveaway to run for i think a week so the winners will be announced in the next video that i upload so yeah thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys